heavyweight title fight brought to you by Harley Davidson. Go to UFC.com to enter for a chance to win Harley Davidson's ultimate UFC weekend. Carwin, five years the elder of beer. 6563. Both weighed in at the max, 265 pounds. Reach is nearly identical. And with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening. Brought to you by Ed Shangel. Go to UFC.com slash Edge to get your edge. Harley Davidson. Go to UFC.com to enter for a chance to win Harley Davidson's ultimate UFC weekend. And Zenergy, powered by Zions, the great tasting sugar-free premium energy drink. And now, this fight is five rounds for the interim UFC Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a perfect professional record, 11 wins, no losses. Standing six feet, five inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Denver, Colorado, Shane Conway. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighter, holding a professional record, 13 wins, four losses. Standing six feet, three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting at Las Vegas, Nevada. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former USC heavyweight champion, Frank Mann! And as he leads on the three times of the octagon, his Dan Mergliotta. Big man, Dan Mergliotta, for a big fight. All right, guys, we're the rules in the locker room. You both understand the rules, correct? I want you to have a nice, clean, safe fight. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves if you like. Go back to your corners. Come on, guys. Joe, a lot of mutual respect shown in this fight. Yeah, no trash talking no. whatsoever. Just confidence. Yep. The challenge ahead. And here we go. Woo. For Mir, it's Carwin. For Carwin, it's Mir. Okay, the winner ready? gets you Brock. Ready? Let's go fight, guys. And here we go. Tonight's clock brought to you by God of War 3. In the end, there will be only chaos. Only on PlayStation 3. In and out. Quick striking. That's what Mir wants. Heavy-handed. Shane Carwin. Huge power jump. Both men heavy-handed. I mean, we're really searing that with Mir. Drop Nogara. Drop Czech Congo. Mir very light on his feet as well. Mir has a lot of good head movement, Mike, and that's also what we saw in his last two fights. He likes to throw kicks, too. Shane's got a hold of him. And the interesting thing there, Joe, is we talk kicks, and if you kick, you might get taken down, but Mir's jiu-jitsu is wicked good. He's so, got to be careful know, here getting hit. This is this is the power part of Carwin, control and pummel. It's That's the freaky thing, is uh, the, his ability to do damage with short punches. And he wants to try to take this fight to the ground. What he's got to be careful of is the jiu-jitsu of Frank exactly. Mir. There are very few heavyweights that move so well off their back. And that's what I was starting to mention to you, partner, is that if he does take it down, Frank doesn't hate that. Yeah, I think he's got the best guard in the heavyweight division. These short punches of Shane Carwin's are very dangerous. Mir recognizes it and gets his head out of there. Oh, nice work with the knee. Throwing knees to that leg of Frank Mears. The longer the fight stays here, right here, the better it is on, for guys, Shane Carlin. Go, guys, let's go. Last six fights, 31, 29, 49, 44, 91, and 69 seconds. This one's almost made it two minutes. About to be the longest fight of his career. Tonight, UFC 111, UFC 112, two titles on the line. Anderson Silva, right, Damian Meyer, BJ Penn, Frankie we're Edgar, that, Hughes we're and Gracie. Right, right. UFC 112 is only on pay-per-view. 10 in the East, 7 in the West, Joe, Saturday, April 10th. I did not like that separation. Let him fight. Let's see what happens. Here 
going to try to set up a combination. Nate Marquardt said, man, has he improved his striking. Boxing has really become the passion of Shane Carwin. There's a nice combination by Frank. And now Mir has him pressed up against, but Carwin quickly turns it around. Both men also recognizing that this is a five-round fight. Very no, much like Brock Lesnar. Pardon me, Joe. This is uh, both Mir and Carwin, but Carwin especially in body type. Very unique blend of brute force and athleticism. Very similar in style, very similar in background, and similar success to that of Brock Lesnar. Come on, guys. Let's go, Axel. Let's go. What is this action? Let's go. They're fighting. There's a left by Carwin. A couple of big uppercuts. Frank Mears in trouble. Frank Mears in big trouble. Carwin looking for the finish. That's Shane it. Carwin teeing off. Trying to finish Frank Mears. It. It's over. It's over. Can he survive? Wow. Wow. Look at this. He's got a hold of an arm. Carwin just exploded. I think he's out, Mike. He's out. Oh, Jesus. Oh, he's oh, he's oh, unconscious. Oh, Shane Carwin. Some serious power. Look at the smile on Brock's face. Shane Carlin's looking at Brock right now. That's a scary, scary yeah. man. Those heavy hands. Wow. Wow. Still hasn't made it out of the first round. 12 and 0. And he took a lot of shots. Frank Mears in trouble there. Joe, he got, he got hit really, really hard there, Mike. Let's take a look at it again. Fight replay brought to you by Bud Light. Here we go. Frank tried to survive, but man, Carlin too big and strong. Just the, the sheer power that he possesses in those uppercuts. Look at that. You see his legs give out. He's already in trouble here, and Shane is just swarming on him. I thought Dan Mergliata would have stopped it sooner. Let's take a look at it again. There's, he's hit with these. He's getting hurt. The knees give out. And Carwin smelling blood just swarms all over him. And here's the end. He's already collapsing. He's flattened out. Easily could have been stopped there. I mean, I don't know what Dan Mergliata was waiting for. He was already out. Shane Carwin has moved himself into the top contender spot. He is the interim UFC heavyweight champion. Frank Mir's date with Brock Lesnar has been delayed. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 48 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knock out and now, the UFC Interim Heavyweight Champion, Shane Cohen! The belt around his waist. All right, I'm here with the winner, Shane Carwin. Shane, coming into this fight, everyone knew you had heavy hands. They landed. You are now the UFC Interim Champ. Tell us how you're feeling. It's a lifetime of work right here, and it's possible by every American out there, baby. Yeah. I'm wordless, man. I'm speechless. I don't know what to say, man. Let's look up at the big screen and take a look at your handiwork. It all started out with some big left uppercuts when you had him pressed up against the cage. You landed a few, and his legs started to give out. Tell us what you were thinking here. That's where I go in to finish the fight, man. I saw him start to fade, and right there, I just let him go. Let him go, you did. Now you are the new UFC interim heavyweight title holder, and you get a shot at Brock Lesnar for all the marbles. Tell us how you feel about that. Finally, baby, finally. That fight was canceled two times. It's destiny that we mean. All right, thank you very much. Congratulations, Shane Carmen, ladies and gentlemen. That's a big dude right there. And you know what? He's going to fight against another big dude. Brock Lesnar, Shane Carwin. All right, here's the team, ladies and gentlemen. Brock Lesnar, first of all, Brock, give us your thoughts on Shane Carwin's performance tonight. Well, it was a good fight, but he's, uh, he's still wearing a belt that's a 
make believe belt. I got to give him the fight that, I was, that we were supposed to give him last November. It was a good fight, Shane, but uh, that's the wrong belt you're wearing. I got the championship belt. That's the, that's the bottom line, buddy. I couldn't agree more, baby. That's why I'm coming after it. Well, this is going to be a fantastic matchup. I can't wait to see it. Brock Lesnar, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Shane Corwin, the interim title holder. It's got to happen. Joe, it's got to happen. It's going to happen. And as Shane Corwin just put it brilliantly, it is destiny. And it will happen very soon. And, and you know what? I like the fact that Shane agrees. That's not the belt he wants. The belt he wants is the one that Brock has in his closet right now. And Brock Lesnar will put that belt on the line. We'll find out later, a couple of months away, who will be the UFC's true heavyweight champion. Big Brock Lesnar gonna take on Shane Carwin. We've had some great fights tonight. Some action earlier from here at The Rock. Take a look, take a listen.